And welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bushnell Trophy 4 to 12 by 40. Now, this is the second trophy that I've reviewed. The first one, which was a discontinued model, well, it was defective, I sent it back, and they sent me this one in the mail. So we're gonna be reviewing it just the same. So um, this one retails for $160 on opticsplanet.com, that's US dollars, and I've only found it in Canada for about $270 Canadian, which is more than just the exchange rate, so Canadians are getting served a little bit in that one. So. Uh, we're going to be reviewing this optic on the following criteria. We're going to be looking at is it accurate? Does it survive recoil? We're going to look at the glass quality. You guys are going to see that for yourselves. We're going to look at the focus parallax. We're going to see does the slide focus uh, function? Is it smooth? Do the numbers correspond to the distance indicated? We're going to look at the turret. So this is where we get a little more complex. We check to make sure that it can survive a box test. Now these ones are resettable. All you got to do is remove these two top screws and it's not the best method, but it works. Additionally, you could dial with these turrets, but I mean, it's really a hunting scope. You can, but meh. Anyway, we're gonna review the eye relief. So they were saying about three and a half inches. We're gonna see uh, how much, how forgiving the eye box is. We're gonna look at the reticle, which is a boring multi-axe. Remember, it's a hunting optic, not a tactical long range rifle scope. So keep that in mind. And lastly, the warranty. And spoiler alert, it's the lifetime warranty from Bushnell. Let's get to the range. All right, so we're at the range, we're at 100 meters. We got the Bushnell Trophy. Uh, we got our one, well actually 0 0.9 inch targets down range. I gotta say, first off, the glass in this thing is really bright. Um, I'm looking at my paper, I mean, it really comes out really clear and really bright, which normally you wouldn't really get with uh, an optic around this price range. Anyway, let's get started. So we're doing pretty accurate so far. Then again, I don't usually have really any doubts with Bushnell products. They're generally pretty good. So, it was pretty great. Let's put it on the 308 now. Well, my grip's not quite as tight as I'd like it to be. Not nearly as tight as on the 223. Let's send down another six.
Well, my second group is far better than the first. Huh, that's it. Pretty decent. And we're back from the range. So what do you guys think about those results? I gotta say, I'm pretty satisfied. It did just fine for accuracy, five out of five. It did great for recoil, another five out of five. So for glass quality, let's get to it. This is for magnification. And this is 12 magnification. So the glass is pretty good. This doesn't have the rain guard coating. It is uh, multi-coated. That's what they're saying anyway. Um, I find personally a 12 magnification. This is decent. I've seen better, but for the price you're paying at about 160, this is really what you should expect. I mean, Bushnell's really good at giving you what you should expect um, for the price you're paying, which is probably why they're in business for so long. I personally found they could have done a little bit better, but I mean, this is kind of what you get. So for that reason, we're going to give it a four out of five for as far as glass quality is concerned. So next, let's look at the focus parallax. So the slide focus is quite smooth. There's no slop in this, which is great. The numbers do match the distance indicated. It goes all the way down from 10 yards, which is really nice for people using an air gun, all the way up to, well, it goes in increments of 10, 30, 50, 100, 250, and then infinity. So you don't particularly need a focus parallax all the way up to 500 on these optics because you don't even need a focus parallax on anything below nine magnification. So something just up to 12, 250, and then a little bit more is, is really sufficient. So uh, it works fine, five out of five. Next, we have the turrets. So this is where we start a bit more extensive testing. These turrets are researable. All you have to do is loosen these two top screws on the top of the turret, windage or elevation, they work the same. And then you just turn this dial. It'll just turn freely, and then you can set it at your zero. Obviously, once you have the rifle zeroed, you snug these two screws back up and you're good to go. As simple as that. And I've done it, it works great. So per revolution, you have 15 MOAs worth of internal adjustment. And this goes up in one quarter of an inch at 100 meters increments. Sorry, one quarter of an inch at 100 yards increments. Not quite the same, pretty similar. Additionally, there is 60 MOAs worth of internal adjustment. So let's get outside, let's test these turrets. This is the Bushnell Trophy. We're gonna do 10 MOA up. Okay, let's do 10 MOA left. Okay, let's do 10 MOA uh, down. Right, and let's do 10 MOA right. And we should be back at zero. Additionally, that should be validating the turrets to indicate that that is, in fact, 10 MOA. Uh, this target is made for um, 100 meters. Since we're at 50 meters, we're doubling the amount of uh, clicks, technically. So 5 MOA on the paper is, in reality, 10. Let's see if there's a point of impact change with the magnification. Now there is a little bit of slop with the magnification. There's a little bit just like that, but I don't believe that's affecting the of making. I don't believe that's making any point of impact change. All right, all right. Now let's see how much internal adjustment it has. Let's go down. And that's as far as it goes. It's getting tight. Yeah, and right at the maximum amount of internal adjustment, it does seem to want to veer off. So you're gonna see it goes right back to its parallel place. So you notice it doing that. That won't be an issue because you shouldn't be up in this area. So let's go back down. And let's see how much, um, let's see how much windage adjustment it has. And that's it. And that should be actually back at zero. And that's as much as we have to the left, just because of the way my target's set up here. So it survived a box test just fine. There was, there's 
60 MOA is worth of internal adjustment. That's great. There is a fair amount of uh, slop in the magnification adjustment. So if you look at this, you can really feel that this is all slop. This is smooth, but then like when you go to change directions, there's, there's a fair amount of slop. So I'm really not a fan of that. I really think, I mean, this is still a budget optic, but you shouldn't really have that even at $160 US. It should be better than that. Uh, there was no actual point of impact shift with magnification, which is great but there's still a little bit of slop in the magnification adjustment. So for that reason, we're gonna give the turrets a three out of five. Uh, next, we have the eye relief. So the eye relief is claimed to be three and a half inches, which is good, even on a high powered rifle, but there's a but. Um, the eye box isn't all that forgiving, uh, meaning you have to be really perfectly centered behind this optic in order not to have a little bit of like shadow on the left, oh, you move a little, oh, shadow on the right, okay, try to get centered again, oh, little shadow on the top. So it's a bit of a nuisance to get perfectly centered. So there's that. Uh, next, we have the fast focus eyepiece, which is smooth, but there's another but. But if you do have to crank it out, um, there is a fair amount of wiggle, which is also not good. On the upside, there is a nice little rubber grommet here. In case you do get scope bite, it'll be alleviated by the rubber grommet. <laughs> so yeah, for that reason, the eye relief, we're only gonna give it a three out of five. So uh, for the reticle, and now this is a simple multi-X reticle, duplex, whatever you wanna call it. Everybody calls it something different, but it's really just the same thing. I would prefer something a little bit more than that, but remember this is a basic scope, a basic hunting scope. So multi-X is generally quite sufficient for hunters. And for that reason, you know, I'm a little bit picky. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. For the warranty, well, this is definitely getting a five out of five for warranty. If you guys seen the previous video for the Bushnell Trophy in the same magnification specifications, uh, it was effective. I sent it back. Now I obviously had to pay for shipping and Bushnell has this thing where they ask you to throw in an extra $10 into your package so they can ship it back to you. A little bit of a pet peeve, but I got a brand new scope out of it. So for the warranty, we're definitely gonna give it a five out of five. So what do you guys think? Anyway, thanks for watching. Consider hitting like, consider hitting subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below of what rifle scopes you'd like to see reviewed on this channel and I'll do my best to get my hands on them. So thanks for watching and see you next time.